This man lives in a climate where it gets to be 50 below zero. And you know what? It didn't stop him from total world domination. <laughs> he has built one huge organization at EXP. He's just an amazing human being. Everybody loves this guy. He's from Calgary, Canada, another Canadian owning the day. Mr. Mike Sherrard, everybody, get him up here. Woo! Woo! Mike Sherrard. Go for it, Mikey. Let's build, baby! Wow. Look at this! Oh, I'm pumped. Thank you guys so much. Before we get started, let's give a hand for Brent, Gene, James, and the whole crew that put this on. Wow. Most of us struggle to get people on a Zoom call. We're just packing rooms over here. All right, guys, so I'm going to be talking about video. Surprise. Um, but I'm going to take you on a bit of a different twist today. So one of the things that I want to ask you guys, and I'm going to get out and you guys are going to get out what you put into this. So the more interactive, the more fun this is going to be. We're here to build. We want energy. So I'm going to ask that of you guys. So the thing that I want to ask is, and it's going to be a show of hands, how many people have gone to these incredible events, left with pages of notes, only to realize that you're here today at the same event? and you didn't execute on some of the notes that you wrote. My presentation is going to change that today. There's a concept that I live by, which is that you don't achieve your goals, you achieve your standards. So the issue is, is people come away from these events with all these incredible notes, all this inspiration, but if you're still not disciplined, if you're still lacking consistency, and you still are not following through with the commitments you make to yourself, you'll never execute on what these incredible speakers are sharing with you. So we're gonna change that today. Now, the first thing you need to know, and I love that AJ talked about this, which is that you need to anchor why you're even doing this. So these are two things very near and dear to my heart where you can see one thing I never thought I would admit, I just got back from front row Beyonce with my girlfriend. Uh, can't believe that's on record now. But to be there and to see her crying with that experience, you cannot put a price on that. This was something, and if anybody went to Cabo last year, I told you, if I hit my goals, I'm taking my family first class to Hawaii. This is a picture right before my dad turned to me crying because he said in 35 years since their honeymoon, they never thought they would be back because they couldn't afford it. Guess who took them back? This is where, why we're doing this. So I'm going to give you guys what you want and then what you need because 15 minutes is a lot to ask for me because you know that I went on depth. But I really want to give you guys something tactical so you're going to want to bust out a page of notes. I like to cheat the system, if you will. So how do you take a 45-minute presentation and squeeze it into 15 minutes? Well, if you go to my YouTube channel for the next week, this is a 30-minute video showing you how to rank your videos number one on YouTube. So that just cut 30 minutes out of my presentation. Uh, <laughs> So I'm going to leave that up there for you guys. Now, the next thing, this is every video you ever need to do in order to do upwards of $100 million in production. The exact videos. And what you'll notice here is that if you look at this and you change the X for number of reasons, you change the year, and you change the price points again in different communities, this is your next three years of videos, the exact blueprint I've used to help some of the top producers in this entire company achieve their goals. That's all that you guys need right there. Who's going to execute? After that, you're going to go to ChatGPT and you're going to type in this exact statement. You're going to say, I'm a residential real estate agent in San Antonio, Texas with a YouTube channel. I create videos that educate people on buying, selling, and why they should move here, and write an eight-minute video script for, uh, for the outline of video topic number one, and two, and three, and four, all the way to 30. And then you're going to sit down and you're going to record those videos. And the reason why I say 8-Bit Video Outline is because I want you guys to not script your videos, but have outlines of videos. After you record that YouTube video, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Opus Clip, you're going to take that video link, you're going to post it in there, and after that, it's going to lead you to 12 repurposed videos for short-form content, and your entire month's worth of content is done. <laughs> then the number one piece of advice I was ever given, Become friends with compliance so that if you say something silly in your videos, you don't end up in EXP jail. <laughs> Anybody in the States, that's Corey Haggard. So go workplace message him. Everybody wants to know how I won with agent attraction. 
Everybody talks about the frontline agents that I have, and I'm proud of that, don't get me wrong, but what I'm more proud of is what nobody in this crowd knows. I haven't personally sponsored one agent this year. I've given 423 frontline agents to my business partners from what I'm gonna to talk to you guys about. I don't feature, I'm the, probably the only one on the YouTube channel that has never featured somebody with a bigger audience than me. Every person that I've featured on my YouTube channel is somebody that you probably don't know, probably never heard of, but are in my revenue share organization. When you look at this picture here, these are on my YouTube channel. One thing that you'll notice is there's every age, gender, ethnicity, language, race, experience level, and demographic location. Why? Because if you don't align with me and my personality, which I know many don't, um, you're probably going to align with somebody within my revenue share organization. This is about equality and finding somebody that you can relate to, which might not be you. So what I do, and many people in here, who knows Sum and Kim? Yeah, a lot of you guys. Well, every time somebody watches a video and say, hey, Michael, watch your video with Suman, I put them under Suman. Oh, I really like your video with Deja. She was a new agent, closed her first deal in 30 days. Put her under Deja. I help my partners grow with my content. That's how you create massive leverage. So now let's talk about what you need. This is my first YouTube video. Let me break down a couple things here. Number one, I'm not even looking at the camera. Number two, I didn't know how to set up my audio, so there was a metronome going every one second for nine minutes. And number three, I've got my door no thousand door knocking hangers behind me. I didn't know what I was doing, right? But I want you to also understand, we are all self-conscious in different ways. I wish I was tall, dark, and handsome, but we're not all Michael Valdez, right? But I got started, right? I was bullied in high school, I was obese, I was overweight, I was teased, I was made fun of, I was called weird. But I understood that if I wanted to make my family cry, my girlfriend cry, make their dreams come true, I have to do what makes me uncomfortable. This is something I've never shared with anybody. Typical quote, right? Everybody has a plan until you get punched in the face. This was a comment from an agent on the number one team in my city. Blanked his name out because he used his name. Talk about being unbiased and informative. What about all the good things a team does outside of providing leads? What are you trying to achieve here? Not everybody has a bank of mom and dad money. Get some leads from them like you. Plenty of great teams like Blanked Out have tons of agents who else sell you on the daily. You should get into the salt manufacturing business, buddy. Single agent here, who's actually on a team, uh, rolling my eyes at your ridiculous content, phony information, laughable disparaging marks. You shouldn't be licensed anymore. Right? I screenshotted that because I knew one day this was gonna change somebody's life. Because I took the bullets too. Right? But guess what I did? Number one, I wish you watched my videos and realized I spent $10 a day on Facebook ads. I shared the tutorials, but clearly he didn't. Um, and my parents had no money, right? But I kept putting out videos. This was another year. Drinking a freaking beer in my video, probably to deal with all the negative comments, <laughs> right? But this video now has 72,000 views. And guess what? I kept putting out videos. And I'd moved into a tiny little condo with a background, and I thought, oh my god, I'm gonna look like a baller. I've got the city in the background, this is awesome. Well, it turns out Calgary looks like shit in the winter, and it made me look like a joke, and I got torn apart in the comments for it. <laughs> this one video led to 252 agents joining my registry organization. What happened next year? Anybody here put on the COVID-40? Yeah, well, I gained weight, got self-conscious again, but I kept putting out videos. And they got a little bit better, right? Here's the craziest thing, you never knew who was watching your videos. When I started looking at this, uh, I got an email from somebody saying, hey Mike, I watch your videos, I'm a doctor, you look like, uh, you know, you're, you're somebody that's helped me launch my YouTube channel, and I work with some of the biggest influencers in the world for hair transplants, one of my biggest insecurities, guess who's taking his hat off now? Free surgery, baby, let's go! <laughs> biggest comeback of 2023. <laughs> But as you can see, you cannot compare your chapter one with my chapter 20. This is my 500th video. I didn't come here with influence. I built it while I was here because we're not at a geographically restricted brokerage. Let me share the principles with you that have changed my life and will change yours. Being unbiased, I know that I'm not special and nobody is. So the direct concept of actually growing your audience is getting people who don't know who you are, what you've achieved, to follow you. So one of the two things that I do, and I recommend you guys doing this, whenever I create a YouTube thumbnail, 
All that I do is take a screenshot of my thumbnail, put it beside the top three ranking videos, and say, would I actually click on mine or theirs? And if you click on theirs, how can you expect anybody else to click on yours? While I rewatch their videos and say, is their videos more educational, informative, or entertaining than mine? And if they are, then how could I expect them to watch mine versus theirs? So what I do is I look at everything unbiasedly and say, how can I make sure that I'm looking at this through the lens of somebody else? But this is the concept that I want you guys to understand, delayed gratification. The number one question I get, and I know you're gonna be failing with YouTube if you ask me this, is Mike, if I put, uh, you know, put out videos, how long will it take me to get a client? That's instant gratification perspective. Because I'm gonna tell you three months, you're not gonna get in three months, and then you're gonna go on to TikTok or Instagram or something else. Well, what if you went in with a mindset that said, okay, I'm gonna do this for a year. If you don't get in a client in three months, is that gonna bother you? What if you said, I'm gonna do this for 10 years, and you don't get a client in three months? Is that gonna bother you? What if you said you're gonna do this for the rest of your career, and you don't get a client in three months? Is that gonna bother you? Commit to it for a lifetime. If you can't do it for a lifetime, don't do it for a day. Consistency trumps intensity. So many people get excited about video, they're like, oh my God, I'm gonna put out content now. And then they're like, well, if Mike does two videos, I'm doing five. Well, good, but you're gonna burn out after a week. I've won by being more consistent than other people. All you need to do is be consistent. I put out two videos a week, but for five years. Discipline. You have to follow through with the commitments that you make to yourself. I've won by building things into my schedule, and the one thing I see agents do wrong is that they put in their schedule, and then a lender wants to meet with them for the coffee, and they're like, hey, that's a lot more fun than recording a video, so they don't record. And then they do it again, and again, and again. But you need to follow through. Now this is a huge one, trust the process. I just gave you the blueprint of exactly what I've helped agents build multiple million dollars in GCI a year for. The exact blueprint. And what I see people do all the time, it's like they want to learn how to play basketball. And Michael Jordan comes over and is like, hey, here's how you should shoot, dribble, and pass. And you're like, that's pretty cool, Michael, but uh, I think I'm going to do it this way. <laughs> what? The king just told you how to do it. Why would you do it elsewhere? Right? That's all I did is I followed a proven blueprint. Look at what other people have proven and just execute on it consistently and follow through with the commitments you make to yourself. Now, here's a concept that's really interesting. If you were driving down the highway and you got a flat tire, would you either A, pull over and call AAA and fix the flat tire, or B, would you pull over and slash the other three and say, screw it? <laughs> You'd probably fix the one freaking flat tire, right? But what do agents do? Something goes wrong in the morning, they lost a listing, a client fell through, and they're like, oh my God, they're all frantic, and they write the whole day off. Or they don't get a video in time and they're like, oh, screw it, I'm not doing videos anymore, right? The reason being is because we all design for the ideal, not for the worst case scenario. The wedge of expectations, the way that you win in business is you set a ceiling and a floor. We all are familiar with designing a ceiling. Two videos a week, eight videos a month, record it all once. But what happens when you wake up and your significant other's upset and uh, you know, deals are falling apart and everything's going to shit, what do you do now? Well, you have to design the floor. It's like going on vacation, right? We're all here. How many people are consistent at the gym until they go to an event? Yeah, a lot of us. Design the floor. To say, if I can't make it to the gym on time, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run or walk for 30 minutes. Well, the same thing goes with your content. If you can't batch your months for the content one time, just say, hey, you know, life isn't going good right now, I'm burnt out, I'm sick, I'm not feeling it, I'm at least gonna map out the next bullet points for my videos for the next month. Not gonna record, but I'm going to do something. You don't want to break momentum, but what you have to do is you have to design the floor. The movable middle. This is a concept where if you're at the one yard line, you can't see the 100 yard line of the football field but you can see the five. And guess what happens if we get you to five? You can see 10. And when you get to 10, you start to see 20. 20, you see 50. 50, you can start to see the end zone. So what I want you guys to do is start to realize that I've put out 500 videos or more on long form and thousands on short form. That's a lot to chew, right? But if you're gonna eat an elephant, you don't swallow it, you do it one bite at a time, right? So knowing that, you can all probably look at the camera, not have a metronome going, and record one video. 
And if you can do that, you could probably record two. And if you do two, you can do four. And two years from now, you could have hundreds of agents coming to you directly, but you have to get started. Here's a, uh, an interesting stat that I want you guys to never forget. If you spend 100 hours on any activity, you'll be 95% better than the entire industry. Interesting, eh? Well, if we reverse engineer that and look at that on an annual basis, that's 16 minutes a day. So if you spend 16 minutes cold calling, door knocking, recording videos, or doing anything that any of the incredible speakers are gonna share with you over the next couple of days, by the end of this year, you'll be 95% better than everybody else in this room. And guess what, if you do it five years like I do, now you're 95% better than the 5% of the 5% of the 5% of the 5%. All you have to do is be consistent and put time into this. The secret of making progress is getting started. You guys need to change your habits and you need to just start. Because I was self-conscious, I had limiting beliefs, I had low self-esteem, but here we are five years later changing lives because I got started. So the question that you need to ask yourself is the following. Is this type of negative comment scarier than never changing your family's lives? Because to me, I would trade bullets and negative comments all day long to see my significant other, my beautiful girlfriend, and my parents crying because I made their dreams come true. Thank you.